welcome back explorers today we're at an abandoned military ship this place is just amazing this was on the top of my list for quite a while now i'm here with nikki from dame untamed i'll put all her links in the description below so give her a follow she's got a great youtube channel she travels all over the place she does urban exploring travel vlogs all kinds of stuff so give her a follow so she's up there somewhere she just climbed up to the top of that thing where the uh, eagle's nest is but I am not going up there. So I hope you're into military ships. I sure am. So let's go. The HMCS Cowichan number 162 was built by Yarrow's Limited. The ship was constructed of wood planking and aluminum framing. The ship type was a bay class minesweeper. A minesweeper is a small warship designed to remove and detonate naval mines. It entered service in December 1957 and was decommissioned in August 1997. It was armed with only one 40 millimeter Warforce gun. It weighs 396 tons, 152 feet in length, 28 foot beam, and a draft of eight feet. The ship had approximately 35 crew members on board. The Navy ship was later sold in 1999 and was to be converted into a personal yacht. The plans failed and the ship has been sitting abandoned and forgotten for years. It was sold again and is now going to be dismantled and scrapped. Today, you will explore this abandoned Navy ship before she is gone forever. Yeah, there's definitely the graffiti there. There's, so people have definitely been in here. Spray painting everything. Definitely smells like an old boat. There's like an old phone here. Mayday, mayday. Amazing. Royal Canadian Navy switchboard telephone. So neat. We got an old newspaper. Let's check out the date here, 2001. This probably was the kitchen. Beams are all steel, but the sides are all wood. That's why the fridge. Oh wow, look how thick the door is. Reminds you of a safe door. Oh yeah, that's definitely the fridge. Wow. Look at all the stuff in here. full of water and diesel fuel 
Definitely could find space that one. Oh, here's more of the kitchen. It's like dripping water everywhere in here. Oh, look at that. Oops. <laughs> That's just me. Oh, wow, this is a big room. So cool. I've never been on an abandoned ship this big before. I don't know what's down there, but I think we might check it out. full of water. If this lid closes, I'll freak right out. <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely, uh, this is the sleeping quarters down here. It's old bunk beds. Like, they don't look very comfortable. There's steel. Those lockers down here. Yeah, they each got their own light. That's so cool. Look, they even got the name Watson Taylor. It's where all the seamen sleep. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bunk beds. There's a couch area. Yeah, look at that. I'm not gonna go down there. That's like pretty sketchy. Yeah, it's like there's even names. So there's name plates on the bunk beds. Oh, yeah. No. Not a lot of space either. Kenny Hazard. <laughs> oh, they have names? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have name plates. Taylor Watson. How? That's such a typical name for someone on a boat, like Watson. That's Watson's bed. <laughs> and Hazard. That's probably his nickname. <laughs> I wouldn't want to sleep near him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got some little hangout area. The confined space stuff just kind of freaks me out. Yeah? Well, I, I took, I, I got my confined space certificate. But still, like when you only got one way out, it's like pretty freaky. Yeah. Well, there's more bunk beds here. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 bunk beds in here. I wonder how many people can hang on this ship comfortably. CPL, is that it? Corporal? Corporal Capazelli. Oh yeah, here's Hazard Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you leave anything behind? I guess not. Goudreau, Kenny. Taylor, Drew. A lot of lockers. More lockers than bunk beds. Yeah, it smells like diesel fuel on there. They each got their own light. See? Oh, yeah. They want to read. No bouncings in here, though. Oh, 
I guess the bathroom's upstairs. Well, I'm glad there's no raccoon poop in this thing. Yeah. We haven't found any yet. <laughs> oh, that was cool. MSDS. I think that's. I call them like the safety. Yeah, stuff. material. Yeah, sheets are like chemicals, like chemical safety. Yeah, I remember that. I think it's material safety data sheets. Yeah, there you go. I think. I'm pretty sure. Glad one of us yeah, I, 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 yeah, I've done the training before. Oh, here's the bathroom here. Yeah, I don't know. for sure. It's, it's pretty intact. It's kind of nice. I find that like BC, like way more graffiti than Ontario. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, I don't know why. But this one, yeah, it definitely doesn't have much graffiti. There's only two showers in here. another bathroom very tight in here though not much room for anything all the doors are labeled everything's labeled Amazing. Yeah, it's pretty great. Like I've never. That's why I wanted to come here so bad. Yeah. I've never would ever see this. No, like this is amazing. I can't believe I was literally right next to it last weekend, and I had no idea it was amazing. That's, that's funny. We're just in the engine room here, and it reeks like diesel fuel. 
So I'm not going to sit in here too long. This is crazy. You should see the size of this, of the engine. This little Tim Hortons cup. Look at the size of this engine. Huge. Well, there's two of them. I can't really get over there. But just two of them here. Oh man, there's huge engines in here. It's careful, it's kind of slippery because of the diesel, I think, spilt everywhere. Oh wow, it smells like fuel, holy. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, this is wild. Tim Hortons cup. <laughs> that doesn't look too old actually. Oh Oh wow. It's probably asbestos. This insulation here. Oh, this bag I got is too big. Oh, Jerry. So, this is like the engine room here. Nikki's inside there, if you see her. <laughs> it must be so hot in here when all these engines are going. So loud as well. I actually heard there was a, a squatter living in here at one point. Really, eh? Yeah. But that's why it's not good to go in abandoned places alone. Yeah, fair enough. Has a little chair here. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff in here. Man, it's probably so loud in here. This is amazing in here. I'm thinking it could be like a bald eagle. It's pretty big, it could be. Oh, 
Here's another phone, but it's gone. I love these little pour holes. These things are so cool. down where we were before open door slowly only if you can prevent accidents hey you don't want to open the door and hit a guy and then you got a man overboard Some kind of gauge. Yeah, if anybody knows what these instruments are for, definitely comment. There's a radar here. This is pretty neat. Commanding officers only in here. Well, I'm a commanding officer today. Just for today. I went inside, yeah, it's pretty neat. This, the radar, there's a radar in there. Oh, cool. There was supposed to be um, a gun, one gun down to the front of this thing. I'm not sure where. crab legs everywhere. The birds come up here and have a meal. Oh wow, look at this thing. This thing is this. There's another radar right in here. This is the bridge. This is where they operate the boat, the ship. I noticed the, uh, the top of this ship here. There should be a roof. Yeah, this is like the bridge they call it, I guess, or the cockpit. I'm not sure. Oh, oh the wood here is all rotten. I wonder what this thing is. Uh, ship control microphone something. Hmm. There's Nikki up there. She's crazy. I'm not oh, going up there. Sorry. 